This video is sponsored by Skillshare. So we haven't been in the kitchen in a while. We've been sort of focusing on our garden, trying to make sure we got some food to eat down the road. Um, in the meantime, farmer's markets have opened back up, which has been such a source of joy for me. Waking up at the crack of dawn, getting there as early as you can, get there and just get as much fresh spring, summerish kind of produce as I can, and just make lots of real like fresh vegetables, salads, all that kind of good stuff. I just really want to compensate for a winter that we kind of struggled to get food delivered. Um, a lot of it wasn't the best kind of quality in my experience. So now we're gonna focus on building up our immune system in the summer. For me, my strategy is eat as much vegetables and reinforce your immune system as much as possible so that in the winter you kind of have a nice barrier to getting sick. And so I went to the farmer's market this weekend. I've got all this stuff is sort of from the farmer's market, minus the cheese and the pasta. I've got some fresh green beans. I've got some beautiful baby rainbow chard and some fresh spring asparagus. And so what I've been doing uh, when I have, this is sort of the end of the week, middle of the week, and the uh, the Swiss chars is getting a little wilty. You know, it's still got some strength, but it's losing a little bit of its life. The asparagus needs to get eaten. The green beans need to go. These things have to go so that when I go shopping again on Saturday, I have room for fresh stuff to begin with. One of the ways I've been enjoying some of this stuff is by throwing it into like an aglio olio and making like sort of this spring vegetable aglio e olio. And um, you can do this with whatever you have, kale, you could do this with all sorts of peas, different hearty greens. You could throw in mushrooms. I'm gonna throw it all together in the style of broccoli pasta. The only difference is just timing wise. So, you know, these, these kind of look like about the same size and they're in the shape of the spaghetti. And this is sort of in the shape of the spaghetti too. So when this all cooks, the idea behind this is it's gonna wrap around a fork real nice. It's just gonna be delicious. You're gonna have lots of textures and flavors. It's all gonna come together really well. We don't really have to prep much. I kinda have to snap the ends off these green beans, which I can do real quick before I get cooking. And there you go, that's ready to go. We've got our mise en place all set up so we're ready to cook. Before we jump into the into the actual cooking of the recipe, give us a minute to talk about our sponsor today, Skillshare. If you've been following me, you know that I'm sort of in the midst of learning a new skill myself, which is gardening. I built a raised bed, I don't know much about it, but I'm trying to absorb as much information as possible to learn as much myself and then to be able to relay that information to you guys. That's why Skillshare is amazing. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of classes on all sorts of subjects to help you learn new skills. Some of the topics I love studying is photography, design, they have classes on cooking and culinary, they've got video production, and much, much more. It's really curated specifically for learning, meaning there's no ads, no interruptions, they're always launching new classes, and it's less than $10 a month with an annual subscription. Since I'm learning how to garden, right now I'm actually enjoying some gardening classes. One in particular is Easy Gardening with Raised Beds by Sunny Green. I'm also getting super interested into baking. It's been seeing a lot of people get into baking and I kind of want to get into baking as well. So I'm taking Easy Sourdough Bread for Beginners by Thomas Charles Mathiasen. All amazing classes I highly recommend. So the first 1,000 of my subscribers to click on the link in the description will get a two month free trial of a premium membership to Skillshare. So you can start exploring your creativity and learning new skills. So thank you so much to Skillshare for sponsoring this video. So now we've got everything ready to go. I'm gonna leave a little bit of cheese out here because I like to finish with a little bit of cheese. We're really gonna start by cooking the asparagus and the green beans. 
just the same as we would broccoli. We're gonna give them about a couple minute head start. Then we're gonna add the garlic and the red chili flake. We're gonna cook those until they start to develop a little bit of brown color. Then we're going to add the Swiss chard. At that point, the pasta should be just about done. We're gonna add pasta water. We're gonna add the pasta. We're gonna emulsify the sauce. You guys, have, we've done this before right now. You guys are pros at making this. So I'm just gonna run through this. You're gonna get a refresher, and if you wanna learn how to do this, I'm gonna leave videos to my aglio olio and my broccoli pasta, which are pretty in-depth videos on making this kind of method. So let's just jump right into it. Get some salt and some boiling water, and then start to preheat the pan that you're gonna cook the vegetables in. Drop the pasta, and you don't have to set a timer, but I like to show you the timing of this. This should all be done within 10 minutes. Depending on the vegetable you're using, you kind of have to guess how long that's gonna cook. So I'm gonna guess that the asparagus and the green beans are gonna take eight minutes to cook. So I'm gonna get them into that pan, and then I'm gonna add a little bit of oil and some salt. I know that the garlic's gonna take around three or four minutes to cook, so at around five minutes, I'm gonna add that with the chili flake, a little bit more olive oil, and then we're gonna cook that for a minute. Then after a couple minutes, we're gonna add the Swiss chard, get that slightly wilted, then we're gonna kill the heat and start to add some of that pasta water. A minute before the pasta is fully cooked, we're gonna add it to the pan with the vegetables and the oil and the pasta water. We're gonna get the heat back on and we're gonna finish cooking the pasta until it's perfectly al dente, adding pasta water when needed and agitating the sauce and emulsifying it until it's combined into a sauce. So I know you guys expect me not to plate, but I wanna talk about plates for a minute because with pasta, they're kind of important. And with this pasta especially, I would like a little bit of a rim to it, some sort of bowl because that sauce is not as thick as a tomato sauce. It's more like a, a soupy kind of t sauce texture. So I want a little bit of curvature to the bowl. Doesn't have to be big. I mean, this is like a shallow one, just something that's gonna hold that liquid in there real nice. Just like this one. The way I think of it is like, with all of these stringy vegetables, you're sort of replacing like half of the pasta with some sort of vegetable that kind of resembles the, sh the spaghetti. It's really delicious. It's just as delicious as broccoli pasta, just as delicious as aglio olio. If you wanna figure out a way to get vegetables into you or your kids' bodies, toss them into this dish. <laughs> Thank you all so much for watching. Yes, I got my hair cut. Don't be surprised if future videos have my hair longer, pre-recorded stuff. You know how it is. Feels good to get a haircut though. Hope you're all eating fresh, enjoying the farmer's market. Please go out and support them. They need the support. They had a rough winter. Um, yeah, that's it. Thanks so much for watching. Thanks for Skillshare for sponsoring this video. Thanks to my patrons for supporting the show. That's all that I have today. I'll see you next time. Until then, take care of yourself. Go feed yourself. Oh,